Hello, this is Paul Manfili for Winning Investor Daily. Last week, I did something that I've never done before. And before I do this video, I want to make it clear that I'm not recommending Bitcoin, even though what I did was I went and bought some Bitcoin and it was intended to be an experiment because I've never actually owned any cryptocurrencies. I've never owned any Bitcoin through all of the frenzy of last year, I never owned any. And as you know, I made a number of, I wrote a number of articles and made a number of videos telling people not to buy Bitcoin. And so I want to make it clear that this is nothing to do with the value and the price of Bitcoin. This is really about the underlying technology, which is called blockchain. And I felt that the easiest way to really try and understand what blockchain is, is to actually go and try it out by buying Bitcoin. And if you've bought Bitcoin, you know this, which is that I used the Square Cash app to buy my Bitcoin, and they make it very, very easy. You move your money into the app, you buy the Bitcoin, they tell you what price, you press buy, and then you bought it. And then it starts to get a little bit different than anything else that you might do, say, compared to buying a stock, which is that something like about six minutes after I bought, bought my first Bitcoin, I got this message, this text message that said that my transaction had been recorded on the blockchain. And that's a really mysterious thing because I don't really know what the blockchain truly is. I have some understanding of it. And then once I saw that, it made me go and look things up and I now began to understand why this blockchain technology is so valuable. And so let's just quickly compare buying Bitcoin to buying a stock, for example. When you go to buy a stock, you go to your broker's website and then you enter your order in and then they tell you, yep, your order is confirmed. Now you may not know this, but it actually takes them an additional three days. So from the day that you buy your stock, it takes an additional three days before that transaction closes. And the reason for that is that in the very old days, and we're talking about like 70 years ago, 80 years ago, they used to do a lot of fails, meaning that somebody would commit to buy the stock and then they would renege. They would decide, well, no, I don't want to buy it. So of course, you know, if the stock went up, they'd say, well, sure, I'll buy it. The stock went down. They're like, no, I no longer want to buy it. And so there had to be developed a series of protocols and conventions and traditions and things like that where the, you had to make sure that the person buying had the cash and was good for the money and good for the transaction. And on the flip side, the person selling would also come through. And that developed over time. And in the very old days, it would take maybe over a month, maybe even two months to settle stock. Today it takes what's called in the business T plus three, which is the transaction date plus three. Now, in today's world, that's ancient. I mean, we have computers where we can do this transaction much faster. And what stops it is the same things that really caused the problem to begin with, which is that people still don't know for sure if someone's good for the money and people still don't know for sure if the person that's coming to sell the stock has the stock to sell it. And here's where blockchain can come in. What blockchain does is that it records all the transactions kind of like from the beginning of time or for some period of time where you no longer have to question whether someone has the stock or someone has the money. That's all recorded in a transaction chain that's digital and that's there and that can be instantaneously accessed. And by that, meaning that the person that needs to make sure that the buyer has money can make sure of that by looking at the blockchain and the person that's buying can make sure that the person selling the stock to them can make sure that they're good for delivering the stock and once that's done, the transaction can close and then you would then get a message like what I got when I bought my first Bitcoin, which is that your transaction has been reported on the blockchain, except this would be a stock blockchain. And by doing this, it would be very easy now to see that the ownership of these shares have changed. And the critical thing we need for that is faster computers. And what we need is to implement infrastructure that allows for that data to be built up in the blockchain so we can access it instantaneously and where transactions can close much, much, much faster. So obviously this has implications, not just in the stock market, but imagine 
a home, which today takes in excess of one month to close, how much more efficient you can make that if you implemented something like blockchain in it. So I'm very, very bullish, very optimistic for what I believe is going to unfold with this blockchain technology because you can see so many applications where you can implement blockchain, obviously in the stock market, bond market, all the securities and financial securities market, in real estate. And then there's places even where in voting and things like that where we need to constantly show our identity. Also in terms of security, in terms of access to computers or databases and things like that. So I'm very bullish and very optimistic on the blockchain. And this is one reason why in my Profits Unlimited service, we've actually released, we're about to release a brand new report that's going to go out to our subscribers this week that directly targets blockchain. So if you're interested in that, check out my Profits Unlimited service. For Winning Investor Daily, this is Paul Mantilli.